Hello there and welcome to this edition of the Daily 10, your source for entertaining news, celebrities and latest trends. I am your host PNK. Popular gospel singer Audi Faxad Peter, better known to many as Garden Angel, took to popular Instagram to caution his fellow artists against the quote-unquote dark music industry and its consequences. In his post, Garden Angel explained that the industry was demonic and asserted that if not careful, many individuals might end up losing greed in their hunt for fame and fortune. Cautioning against overdependence and fake friends, he advised his fellow musicians to take control of their lives and make worthwhile investments. A Kenyan socialite Corazon Kwamboka has finally revealed who the father of her unborn baby is. She disclosed that the baby daddy is fitness guru Frankie Just Jimmit, whom they went on to have a conversation with as they responded to many questions by fans. They then talked their fans through how they met and started dating as they also revealed that the pregnancy was not planned. Corazon Kwamboka and Frankie also talked about the plans they have going forward as co-parents and what the future looks like for them. Ben Kitili's wife Amina Moody has denied rumors claiming that she broke up with her news anchor husband. In a new post she shared on her page, Ms. Amina Moody acknowledged her mistake for sharing false information out of anger and for this reason went on to issue an apology to both her husband and fans for lying about her marriage. With stories claiming that the two were no longer man and wife, it seems like the information affected the family, forcing Amina to issue the public apology through her page. A Nairobi MCA has landed himself in trouble after violating assembly rules by streaming a live on Facebook proceedings of the assembly. Imara Daima MCA Kennedy Obuya, who faced disciplinary action for his conduct with the assembly's powers and privileges committee that is set to investigate him. This comes after assembly speaker Beatrice Elachi in her communication to the house accused the first time MCA of streaming live on Facebook the proceedings of the assembly's plenary seating. Beyonce has been accused of faking being black and hiding her true identity as an Italian woman named Anne. K.W. Miller, who is running to represent Florida's 18th Congressional District in America's November election, has made a series of twisted claims about the singer on Twitter. The politician went on to allege Beyonce's song formation includes a number of cryptic coded messages and he claims she is a secret satanist. He also claims that Beyonce is really of Italian descent and her real name is Anne Marie Lastarassi. Rob Kardashian has become so body confident that he is now sharing selfies of how he can see down to his feet, which is pretty funny if you ask me, as his belly has completely flattened out. Fans are loving his incredible weight loss makeover. He shared to both Instagram and Twitter, looking down his now flat stomach at his feet with his trim legs in the short. His belly is gone. Even Rob's thighs and calves look so stoned and trim in the photo, and fans were in awe of his new body, as well as his fresh attitude about sharing snapshots of himself with his fans again. Good for him. Look out NBA, Zion Williamson officially has the Infinity Gauntlet. The rookie phenom is ringing in his 20th birthday by channeling his favorite comic book supervillain Thanos, copying the Marvel theme pendant with a minor twist. Zion has gone on record saying his favorite character is the bad guy from Avengers Endgame and with celeb jeweler Zofros gifting the young baller his own blinged out gauntlet which is fittingly holding a basketball, Zion is balling. The piece is incredibly detailed and even features all the Infinity Stones so the NBA might go half. Comedian Tiffany Haddish documented her at-home haircut on Instagram live and told her fans and I quote nothing is wrong with my brain guys end of quote. The comedian cut off all her hair before taking a clipper to shave the rest of her head. Her inspiration? Haddish said she simply wants to be able to see her scalp. But before her transformation was complete, Tiffany rejected the notion that she cut her hair as a way to cope with her emotional well-being. She is simply being Tiffany. <laughs>